Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, in today's video, Dad and I will be replacing a corner wheel on our automatic scraper. Uh, we're going to be doing number three. It's right behind me over here. So uh, pull up a chair and I'm going to show you how we do it. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's the hardware we're going to be using. Only actually using one bearing, two grease seals, four large snap rings, two on each end, and then two smaller snap rings on this shaft here. Alright, so first we're going to get this press set up so that we can slide the wheel underneath and push the bearing into place. We're just going to use an old bearing race that's been ground down to push the bearing to the correct depth. Just adding some steel here to get a little height so we don't have to jack it as far. Alright, here we're starting to press down, making sure not to go further than we need to. And once it's in place, we're going to pull it off here and uh, go over to the saw horses to put the rest of the hardware in. Alright, now we're going to put the snap ring on the top side of this bearing to keep it in place. Uh, this used to be the bottom of the wheel, but it wore out completely so there's no longer a groove for the snap ring to go above the grease seal. So this is going to become the top and we're going to rely on the plate, the cover plate to act as the uh, retaining clip for that seal. Uh, these wheels with all the hardware are 700 bucks a pop so we're going to reuse them as many times as we can in whatever way we can as long as they still work properly. We're just pre-packing it with some grease and then getting ready to put the seal in. And then we'll flip it over, do the other side. Here we have the grease seal on the other side. We've got the shaft in with its two small snap rings. And I'm just getting ready to put the final snap ring on the bottom side of the grease seal of this wheel. So now we're out standing above the pit on the catwalk and first things first we're going to remove the heat lamp that's what keeps it from freezing up during the winter and we're going to remove this weather box so that we can get at the corner wheel. The corner wheel has five bolts holding the lid on so we're going to go ahead and zip them off. You can see I brought the New, newly rebuilt wheel with me so that once we get it off we can just swap them out quick and keep things running. We have an extra wheel now so as we swap them out we can rebuild the next wheel and we'll always have a spare wheel. So dad's just using the pry bar to take the tension off the wheel get some slack in the chain you can see the bearing is completely gone out of the center of this wheel and uh, we're just gonna work it out here get all this extra manure out of here the other thing we noticed is there is a bolt that comes through the side and what it does is in the groove on the wheel where the chain rides it sticks into that groove and any excess manure it cleans out so that you don't get a bunch of build up and it causes the chain to twist or pop off and that's something we're gonna have to replace but for now we're just getting everything in place we're gonna pop the lid on temporarily until we can get that bolt to put back in so here we have the clean out bolt we're just gonna lift this lid off check the length on the bolt again to make sure it will in fact reach 
and they're going to proceed to put it into the correct depth so it's not catching on the wheel but it's also cleaning as much of the manure out of that groove as it can. So here dad's twisting the bolt as close as he can get it to that groove without touching. And once we're satisfied and double check we can put the lid back on and start tightening everything back down. So everything on the far end is put back together and now all I have to do is tension the chain back up and I can start scraping again. Uh, this first bit I have to do with an open end wrench because I can't get a socket on it when it's this close to the uh, clean out bar. But once I get that gap in there then I can really start moving it up with the uh, ratchet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This isn't a very fun job, but it does need done to keep things moving on the dairy. Thanks, and we'll catch you on the next one.